and welcome back to another Dark World tutorial. In today's video we're going to be looking at how to turn our movie clips into pencil sketches and with this technique you can build upon it and turn it into a completely different result. So the first thing we need to do is change this from the 3D view to the node editor. Then down here we're going to change this to the scene tab. You want to check use nodes and backdrop. And we don't need this render layer so we can press X to delete that one. Shift A, go to input, and then down to movie clip. Or if you're working with an image sequence, you can use that too. Go ahead and load in the movie clip. Now since we have backdrop enabled, we can go ahead and shift A, add in a viewer node. And just move these out of the way here so we can see this. So this movie clip that I'm using, um, I'll throw a link in the description if you want to check that out and use it yourself. So it's just basically there's some butterfly sat on a flower, I guess. Um, shift A, go to colour, and then mix. So I'll plug this one into the bottom one, which is our composite. Since I've got the node wrangler add-on enabled, I can control, shift and left click, and it'll connect that up for me. Take this input and plug this into the bottom one. Shift A, add in a converter. We want RGB to black and white. And we can plug this one into the bottom one as well. So I want to change this blend mode from mix to saturation. Shift A, go to colour, mix. Oh, you could have just duplicated the last mix node, but uh, <laughs> I do it this way. And then we want to take the feed from this uh, RGB to black and white. We want to take this one and plug this in here. And then we want to change this mix, and we want to choose dodge. Now we want to shift A, go to colour, and then invert. And we want to plug this in here. So you can't really see anything right now. You might be able to see a few little dots, and that's exactly what we want. So we know it's working. Shift A, go to filter, add in a blur. Plug this in here. And this is where the magic happens now. Once we start blurring this, we can start seeing a pencil sketch type image. So let's change this to 10 by 10. We've got some barely sketched image. And the more we increase this, the more filled those lines are going to be. So this is the example you'd get. If you want to stop here, you can. You can go render it out, but I'm going to show you a few different things we can do to make this look a little different. Um, the first thing you want to do is maybe make some more space. So let's just move these out of the way. Shift A, go to Color, RGB Curves. Plug this in here. So in fact, we want to go drag it down a bit. And we get some more detail brought back in. Let's move over here a little bit, I think. And then we're going to click and add a new point. And this kind of looks more like a watercolour painting, which is pretty good. Maybe add some colour to it as well. But I like that for now. So the difference between the original and then all the effects. So this is more of a watercolour painting. You can shift A, go to colour and mix. Plug this here at the end. Then get the original. I'll make sure you then we select the original. Feed, plug that into the bottom. Just to add that original colour back in, let's change this to soft light. You can also change it to colour and a few other different modes, blend modes, but it gives you different kind of uh, results. I think this is nice for this sort of watercolour effect. Um, we can also add some more nodes to this to increase the colour, so I'm just probably going to add a saturation or something like that. I'll show you an example of how it looks now. So I don't want it to be looking like a watercolour, so I'm just going to delete them. So when you're happy with everything, you can go ahead and render that out. So change this to H.264. Make sure you set your file output. So you don't need to worry about the sampling. And you can go ahead and animate. So I'm just going to speed this next part up. And you can see how I made the poster. It's pretty much the same node setup with a few little differences. So I did increase the blur size to be around 90 by 70 or 90 by 45, something like that. So these kind of values to give it a kind of um, faded look. So you can go ahead now and tweak these nodes and change them, add some more, make it look completely different. Um, it'd be cool to see what you guys can make of this and what you guys can come up with. So if you do make something interesting with it, be sure to throw um, a link in the comments below. It's always great to see what work you create. So hopefully this tutorial helped. If it did, be sure to give it a like. And as always, thanks for watching.